You are now in Prague on the International Alpinism Festival and you are about to uh, say a few words uh, or give a speech on your climbing expeditions and so on. Do you like talking about uh, climbing? I think we are in the very lucky position to be able to bring our adventures to the people who probably have not the possibility to travel that much. And I think uh, we can transport a lot of inspiration, imagination with our pictures. And um, I think this is a big fortune to be able to inspire people. When did the idea about all 8,000 peaks started. It was not after the first one, of course. I did uh, quite uh, uh, a lot of 8,000 meter peaks before, and then on our on my ninth, it was after we climbed together, my um, husband Ralph and me, uh, Kanchen Zönger, the third highest peak in the world. And after this, I remember we talked about uh, maybe uh, we could uh, reach the top of each 8,000 meter peak without uh, supplemental oxygen. The last 8,000 peak for you was K2, it was fourth time. There were some special occasions before, like uh, when your, one of your friends died. When uh, our friend Fredrik Eriksson um, fell down, it was a very, very sad, uh, very tragic moment. And then I didn't know if I would like to turn back to K2. There were tough times, not only on K2, but also on Daulagiri um, during the attempt in 2007, because you were hit by avalanche. It was at 9 o'clock in the morning, um, suddenly uh, an avalanche um, came down and took me away. I was inside my tent. And after a while, um, it stopped, and I felt that I'm, yeah, I'm still alive. But I had no orientation if my head is up or down or where I am. I didn't know. I think when we are climbing together, I don't feel fear. I see that uh, Galinda has a very high level of technical experience, and so I trust completely in what she's doing. I think this makes you even more unbelievable. Like. <laughs> the first woman who did this and she's also vegan. I think uh, each body um, works different and I feel very strong with this.